something I've been getting asked a lot lately. Well, technically not a lot, but I've been asked a few times already, and it was on uh, when I was streaming. People from the stream have been asking me, you know, I, I know you guys have heard about it. It's been everywhere. I can't even get away from it, even if I tried. And it's basically, they want to know, bro, Meek or Drake? And, <laughs> you know, I've been hearing this everywhere, so it's not like I can avoid it. I can't, you know, be like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit. I don't care. I'm not trying to hear it. Because it's fucking everywhere. Before we get into this, guys, I know there's something different. I know there's something different. My beard's gone. You're like, what the fuck is that, Dro? Why is your beard gone? And, I mean, I'm sorry. It's not even a beard no more. It's just double. It's coming back. I promise you. I promise you it's coming back. But for now, it's not. What the fuck is that guy doing up there? Look at that. Oh, glitching ass dude. But, anyways, back to the main topic at hand. Meek or Drake? Honestly, guys... I'm gonna be as straight up as possible with you guys. I could give a shit. So yeah, basically guys, I just don't care. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. So whenever I give this opinion, it's coming from the most mutual standpoint ever. Like, I, I don't, there's no favoritism here. And I keep dying. But there's no favoritism here, guys. Like, I've had, you know, I've, I haven't asked a few people, but people have told me who they pick, who they prefer on this, you know, Meek Drake side. And, you know, basically everybody that I know that picks Drake, has already been a fan of Drake. They just, they liked them since before, you know? It's, it's not like anything special or anything new. They just already liked them before, so obviously that's the side they're gonna pick. I'm, I, I mean, I swear, you know, Meek could have done better, but they wouldn't care because they're already a Drake fan. So that's just the way, that's just the way the world revolves. But anyways, guys, I'm sure if you've heard anything about it, you know, you've, you've already heard the songs, you know, the two songs that Drake did, you know, whatever, uh, one was called, what, uh, Charged Up, and it was like the most mellow song in the world. The other one was called Back to Back. Actually, I listened to Back to Back, and it was pretty decent. You know, it was good. I liked it. I mean, not like the diss tracks I liked from back in the day. The diss tracks I liked back in the day were awesome. But anyways, we'll get to that later. But yeah, I heard those two tracks that Drake did, and by all means, oh, that shot between his legs. By all means, they weren't half bad, you know, whatever. Then you hear Meek's diss, and it's like, what, Meek? I thought you came from being a battle rapper, bro. Like, if you come from being a battle rapper, you know, you're supposed to come at the shit harder. That, that, that's just what I thought. But yeah, as a diss artist, I thought, I mean, well, coming up from a battle rapper, you know, I figured Meek would have done better. I mean, I, I, I don't know too much of his past, his background, but I mean, I don't know. You think of a battle artist actually killing it. But, I mean, I'm not saying that he's not going to kill it. Everybody's been talking about, oh, Meek's career, it's over, RIP Meek. I mean, it's just one diss track that he did. I mean, the first diss track that Drake did wasn't all that either. So, I mean, come on, maybe he's just, you know, you know, prepping everybody, getting everybody ready for what's, what's to come. But, yeah, guys, whenever I said that, like, Meek's diss wasn't that great, I mean... I, I don't know. It could have been good in somebody's ears. I don't I don't know, but I heard it and I just I couldn't get it. Oh, why are you lagging? Why are you lagging? I heard it one time and that one time I heard it, I did not understand it. Like I mean, I, I don't know. I just did not understand it. I tried listening to it. As a matter of fact, guys, we're going to look up the lyrics here in a little bit. And as far as Drake, I mean, when it comes to picking sides, like I've when Drake first came out, that's the only time I was really a Drake fan. Like, Drake was killing it when he first came out. I mean, hold on, wait. Drake is still killing it to this day. I mean, nothing's changed. He's still doing He's still doing his thing. I, I don't think Drake sucks. As far as personal preference, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like a lot of Drake's music. I mean, the main reason for that is because... Because, um... Uh, because basically, sorry, we got into a mad fist fight right there. I had to like kind of focus up. But the main reason I don't like Drake, not don't like, because he's a good, he's a good rapper. He does good. It's just, uh, how, how can I put this? It, some of his songs are too soft. Too soft. Like it's just too much, too many feelings in his songs. And I mean, I'm not saying I'm the hardest person in the world. I'm not saying I'm the most rugged. No, I don't wake up and eat nails for breakfast. No, I don't make babies cry for fun. No, I don't kill little puppy dogs for fun in real life. You know, I don't shoot dogs. I'm, I'm not I'm not the most rugged person. Well, I may shoot dogs, but only on GTA. That's a that's a little that's a little insider from the from the live streams if you if you caught that. 
But yeah, I mean, I'm not the most rugged person, the most hardcore person ever in the world, but when it comes to my rap, hip-hop and stuff, I just don't like it to be all touchy-feely and shit. You know what I mean? I, I want it to be, you know, on point. I mean, Drake's lyrical, don't get me wrong. He's, he's not bad when it comes to doing some lyrics. You know what I mean? He does, he does his thing. Just personal preference, I don't like the whole, you know, I'm in my feelings on rap. Oh my god, I got such a good lead. Should I try to trick shot this? Fuck that. And as far as me, guys, like, I've, I've heard this shit. He's, he's, a, he's a good artist. Oh, quick scope for the game winning kill. Know what I'm saying? He's, he's a good artist, too. I mean, I've heard some of his stuff. Not, you know, not anything that I've, you know, looked into way too much. But, you know, some of the stuff I heard, you know, they were, they were pretty crunk. Got me pretty hyped. And, you know, it was all gravy. So, guys, and as far as the verdict... As far as the verdict, who do I pick? Drake, Drake, Meek, you know, what do I pick? Who did better? Is Meek's career over? As far as all that verdict stuff. Okay, first let's get to the Drake and Meek. What do I think? Who do I pick? Honestly guys, I don't pick anybody. If I had to pick, if I had to fucking pick, I mean, as of now, wouldn't you want to just pick the winning side, right? I mean, if you were neutral from the whole way through from the beginning wouldn't you just want to pick the winning side so since i'm not picking the losing side i'm gonna go ahead and peek peek <laughs> peek not meek i'm gonna go ahead and peek pick drake because you know that's the winning side why would you want to be on the losing side feel me bro i mean i mean what you know if, if meek comes up with some good shit and comes out with a fucking hard ass diss then that might change. Oh, I just got punched in the face. That sucks. That was disrespectful. That was super disrespectful. I mean, if Meek comes out with like a dope ass diss, then I'd be like, oh, Meek all the way, bros. This video doesn't exist. I don't know what you're talking about. I was Meek from the beginning. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But you know what I mean. Like, Meek's not doing much. No, that's not saying he's a bad artist. I mean, he's good. How did I miss that? He just didn't do a good diss. As far as people being like, oh, I'm not listening to Meek no more because of what he did, then that's lame as shit. If you were a Meek fan from the beginning, but all of a sudden you don't want to be a Meek fan because of a stupid diss, then that's, that's pretty lame. You know, as artists and as normal people, you can't, you know, please everybody. But yeah, now that y'all guys heard my side on what I think, on who, who, who I pick, then, you know, now you guys know, maybe I won't get asked as often on stream, but you know, I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna come trolly and ask me. Somebody that already asked me before. And as far as, you know, if I think Meek's career is over, bro, really? Career over, over a diss? I mean, I, I mean, back in the day, I've heard of people's career being over from a diss, like Ja Rule and shit, when he like straight lost that diss. But you know, whatever. As far as Meek's career being over, nah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he still got the chance, actually. You know, he still got a little bit of time to go ahead and come up with something. Now, if he comes up with something lame as shit, then his career might be over. Then we might be like, uh, R.I.P. Meek. Oh, oh. Get out of my face with that, brosif. Get out of my face with that, brosif. But yeah, guys, like I was saying earlier, as far as, like, disses back in the day, those disses back in the day were just so real. I, they were awesome. I don't know if you guys, you know, heard disses back in the day. Like, one of my all-time favorite disses. You you can't pass this diss up. You cannot pass this diss up. I mean, everybody knows it. They got, if you don't know it, then get educated. I don't fucking know. But, why can't I? Why? Whoa. Okay, was that? That guy, that dude, that dude is straight lag, lag city. Like, I'm not lagging anything. That one should have hit. I'm done. I'm done even trying. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that was crazy. But anyways, the diss is back in the day that I loved. I mean, come on. Tupac, hit him up, bro. Tupac, hit him up. Was the shit. Oh, and I would get knife. Tupac, hit him up. If you guys do not know it, Google that shit right now. I'm kind of lagging. What the fuck? Google that shit right now and look it up. As a matter of fact, guys, let's look up some lyrics really quick. Tupac's hit him up from the beginning. I ain't got no motherfucking friends. Then he then he goes to say, "That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker." Like, whoa, bro. The song hasn't even started. He's still introing the damn song. Like it's fucking crazy. Hold on, let's get to the first verse. 
First verse, off butt, off the bat, off rip. First off, fuck your bitch and the click you claim. First off, fuck your bitch and the click you claim. Bro, Tupac had no fucking chill. Like, he just went straight in for it. He didn't let the shit marinate. He didn't fucking wait around. He's straight. What he had to say, he said it right then and fucking there. Like, bro, then that's a diss song. As soon as you heard that line, you're like, oh, this shit is gonna be fucking good. But yeah, guys, as soon as you heard that, as soon as I heard that, I knew this this diss was gonna be kind of godlike. Like, I was like, whoa. Then he goes on just to just keep, keep dissing, like, with no kind of chill whatsoever. Then he goes on to say, you claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. Like, we bust on bad boys, n-word fuck for life. Like, come the fuck on. Then he goes, Biggie Smalls and Junior Mafia, some mark-ass bitches. Like, bro, he just kept going. He kept going in. It was just one verse, and I think it was better than the Drake diss. Not saying the Drake diss was bad. It was good. But he went in, like, just on the first verse. Like, he had no kind of chill. It, it was just, it was just fucking crazy. And also, it's like, these diss tracks, like, they actually said the name, like, Bro, they, they just, they didn't give a shit. They, they said the name. They said your click's name. They straight threw you on a fucking platter. They chopped you the fuck up like they just said your name. The person that dissed really well, dude, was Eminem. You, you got you got you got to give it to him. He, he fucking did disses off the chain. If, got, if guys, you haven't heard the song Girls by Eminem, Google that shit right now. We're going to look into some damn lyrics about that shit. That was one of my favorite diss tracks. I mean, there's other ones, but that's the only one I could think of off the top of my head right at this moment. I mean, look at this shit. Listen, listen. Fred, you said you was dissing him too. I should have knew better than to listen to you. Like I said, he said his name. Like, straight up. Like, he know getting Hold on. Let's, let's, get, let's go on with the line real quick before you think that's not even a good line. He goes, you fucking sissy up on stage screaming how people hate you. They don't hate you. They just think you're corny because Christina played you. Like, bro, he's calling out your fucking relationship. Oh, shit. Oh. I mean, look at this. He says, because I swear to God, this ain't just a song. I'm trying to pre-warn you. Lethal, when I fucking see you, dog, I'm swinging on you. Like, he just went in. Hold on. Let's get, the, let's get this next line. He, he goes on to talk about Lethal on the second verse. As for Lethal, don't forget what I said. I'm fucking you up, punk. You're dead. Don't think that I'm playing. And fuck Biscuit. Because I know you're saying fuck D12 only not to our face under your breath to yourself. Like, bro, like he had no chill. He dissed like three people on that fucking track. It was fucking crazy. When I heard that, I was like, oh, man. I was, I was, I was hyped. Made me want to start dissing motherfuckers. And I don't even diss. Like, it, it was crazy. But yeah, guys, I am not talking shit about disses of today. I'm just saying, like, disses of back then were fucking amazing. I loved them. They were awesome. I mean... That guy had a knife me. There's always that one knife that comes out. But I mean, this is a back then were just awesome. I love those disses. Those were my shit. Because, I mean, because guys, honestly, honestly, guys, they were just fucking raw. <laughs> yeah, I barked like a dog, kind of. I said raw, because they were just fucking raw. They were rough. They were rugged. Like I said, not that I'm the most rugged person in the world, but you know what I fucking mean. But anyways, guys, that was just my view on dissing. I mean, you know, it's just a little fun topic to talk about because it's just been everywhere. But anyways, guys, it's about 8.30 in the morning. I got to get to my live stream. Make sure you follow the links down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Guys, to do all these things, follow us, like the video, and subscribe. It don't cost you a dime, but it means a lot to me and Bazoo. So we would really appreciate it if you guys do that. It means a ton. It touches our heart, and we love you for it. But anyways, guys, it's your boy Joski Dro, and I got to get to stepping. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.